Hey guys, my name is Sid. Welcome to another vlog. Now, I'm not that impressed by new technology that often because I get a lot of cool stuff to review. But this thing really, really impressed me because I haven't really seen something like this before. This is called the Puppy Cube. It's made by Puppy Robotics. And what makes this so cool is it's a short row projector, guys. This thing can project up to a 100 inches screen uh, pretty much on any surface. But not only that, it also has an Android tablet inside it, which pretty much allows any surface to turn into an Android tablet. It also has a 5000 milliamp hour battery inside it, so it's completely portable. And these grooves that you see on the side are actually speakers. And I was really impressed by what they're able to pack into this small thing and uh, the experience that it provides. Thought it was gonna be a gimmick, but man, does it work. Now quickly, let's go over what comes in the box now. Their packaging is really nice. I kinda like their logo as well. The puppy logo looks really cool. Box looks really good. You do get a lot in the box. So you do get a power cable which powers this thing so you can have it powered or on battery, whichever you prefer. It's also got USB cable. It's also got this remote control. Now I was really impressed by the quality of this remote. It's brushed metal, the buttons feel really good on it. And overall, it's one of the better remotes that I've seen and it's included in the box. It's also rechargeable by USB. Now the Puppy Cube's hardware itself is really impressive. As I said before, it's got two speakers on each side, which gives you pretty good stereo sound. They're five watt speakers, they get pretty loud as well. I would say that you can actually watch a movie just from the speakers of this thing pretty comfortably, even at that 100 inches when it's pretty far away from you. Now they do have a couple of ports at the back over here. They've got a USB port, so that means you can plug in any USB device. And if you put a thumbstick into it, it's gonna actually read the data on it so you can play music or watch videos. It's also got a headphone jack in case you wanna listen in private. And then it's also got a HDMI input, guys. Now that I was surprised by because that means you can pretty much connect any device to it. So if I wanna connect my PS4 to it, I could and I can put that up on the 100 inch screen. Now on the front of it, you will see this is where the DLP projector lies. That is going to provide a 720p image. When it's vertical like this and projecting on a surface, it'll give you a 24 inch screen. When you put it on its back, it will project up to 100 inches on any surface. If you look closely, you'll also see there are these two cameras inside over here and they're creating a 3d depth of the space in front of it which gives you multi-touch up to 10 points up to 10 fingers which is amazing so you can actually use an android tablet just the way you would on a typical tablet but this gives you that capability pretty much on any surface now on the top of the device you'll see there's a power button a couple of volume buttons and then there's even a 5 megapixel camera which allows you to do video conferencing. So imagine you put this up on a table somewhere, you have the camera pointed towards you and you have the projection up on the wall. I think it would make a pretty cool video conferencing device as well. So that's pretty much it for the hardware specs. Now let's go check out what this thing can actually do. When I'm right close to the screen, I can see the pixels, but when I come back closer to the camera, it looks slightly soft, but considering the size of the screen you're getting, it's pretty amazing. This is the setup right now. I've got my switch connected by a cable to the puppy cube and it's projecting the switch on here now. And resolution, when you do stand really close to it, it doesn't look that good. But if I'm coming close to the camera, I can't really tell. Now I love this Donkey Kong game. I've been playing Dark Souls, by the way, on Switch. And man, is it a hard game, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it as well. I played Dark Souls 3 before I played Dark Souls, so I do know how it works, but it's still really tough. No noticeable input lag or anything like that. It's working well. I'm gonna turn off all the lights, so. Okay, I've gotta say, this is probably the most ultimate portable gaming experience that you can have. Nintendo Switch, plus the puppy cube. Now, since this device actually is running Android on it, it's running Android 6, which is not the latest version, but it will do the job. Now, one problem I found with this device is it does not support Google Play services, which means you can't use the Google App Store, but they do have something called the Upside Down Store, which allows you to install a lot of apps. Now, I had trouble with a few of the apps, like for example, YouTube does not work on this right now. Puppy Robotics said they are working on it and we will probably get support for more apps in the future. But the inbuilt app store is actually pretty good and you get a lot of stuff on it, including games. It also comes pre-packaged with its own skin, 
where you can see they have Netflix and Facebook and stuff installed by default. Since it works like an Android tablet, you can pretty much use all the Android features. It's also got support for AirPlay, which was amazing. So I can pretty much stream my iPhone directly to this projection system as long as it's on the same Wi-Fi, which is an awesome feature to have. The touch functionality on it is extremely good. Pretty much any surface I tried, which was flat, worked really well. If you put it on a surface that's uneven, it doesn't work as well. The texture of the surface that you put it on comes into play. So if you put it on a pretty flat white surface, that's when you're going to get the best results. But if you put it on a wood surface, you are going to see the grain, but it's still kind of usable in that state. And I would say it's decent enough. Use an app like a game or something like that. But reading becomes a little difficult. When it's in tabletop mode, I was really impressed by the precision of the tabletop tracking that it has. Like everybody I showed this device to was extremely impressed that tracking on the table was as good as it was. Now this device is capable of installing all your streaming services directly on it. So you have Netflix, Amazon Prime, pretty much any service that you want that's supported by Android will be available on this device which is really cool because you don't actually have to connect anything to this projector to watch something. It has the software inbuilt. Now, recently I did a review of the BenQ 4K projector. And I would say, even though this is a 720p projector, in terms of video quality, it's not bad. I mean, like, of course, you can't compare it to a 4K HDR projector, but it does do the 720p pretty well. If you're sitting at a distance from it, it's really hard to tell. But yes, when you're close to it, you do see the pixels. The device actually supports a 4K input, which it then downsamples to 720p. So it is going to be able to accept pretty much any device that you throw at it in terms of HDMI input. One of the coolest things that this projector does is it will self calibrate. Now, as soon as you put it on any surface and turn the power on, it will put a projection on the table and then adjust based on that projection to make sure you're at the right focus as well as fixing any kind of distortion that the image might have. So you get a really good image. Now, of course, if the angle of the projector is going to be way off, then you are going to see some distortions. So you do have to adjust it slightly, but by no means like a traditional projector where you'd have to calibrate it pretty precisely to get a good result. This, you just put it on any surface. It'll project that self calibration image on the surface. It'll do its thing within a couple of seconds. You're good to go. Now the device is smart enough to know when it's on tabletop mode and when you're putting it on its back for projecting it onto a larger surface. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to change any settings or anything like that on the device. It'll automatically do it, which is something that I love about this device. So one second you could be, you know, choosing your Netflix movie on the surface using your fingers, which is much better than using the remote. I think the Android implementation of the remote is not that good. I couldn't browse Netflix, for example, using the remote that well. It's just hard to select things, but the touch experience is great. So what I do is I pick up the projector, surf Netflix using my fingers. And when I chose the movie, just pick up the device and put it on the floor and it project that 100 inch screen for me, which was brilliant. Now, a lot of the flaws of the operating system, like not being able to put YouTube on here, is kind of forgiven because of the airplay and streaming features that they have. So you can pretty much use your phone to stream to this device. You don't really have to use the operating system on here, even though they give you the remote, even though it has Android itself built into it, you can pretty much use any phone to project whatever you want onto this thing. If you're a traveling person who needs to present all the time, this is an amazing device. I don't think you're gonna find something as sophisticated and uh, as capable as this device over here the puppy cube. Now, after all the features I told you, let me tell you about the price of this device. This device starts at a thousand dollars and it just launched on the Amazon store in Dubai very recently. So it's available for 3699 dirhams right now. I leave a link in the description. So disclaimers, Puppy Robotics haven't paid me for this. They just send me the device to review, but I must tell you, I'm really impressed with this device. The build quality, the touch sensing, all are excellent. You know, the hardware, I think they've done an excellent job. I think where it lacks a bit is in the software department. I wish the Android operating system that they had on here was capable of a little bit more. I think if they've got Google Play services on there, it's going to make it absolutely unbeatable. And I think uh, for the next generation, if they could up that quality from 720p to 1080p, I think this is going to be an absolutely amazing device, especially at this price point. I know it's slightly on the expensive side, but when you look at projection systems or projectors that are capable of running on battery 
for two and a half hours completely by itself, I think this is a pretty compelling device. Anyway guys, that's it for my review of the Puppy Cube. Let me know what you guys think of this device. Would you be interested in picking one up? I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can go buy it from the Amazon store. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.